What's up y'all, I'm Jay Maxwell. Welcome back to my channel. This is Jay Max Reacts. And today I'm watching a recommended video that was linked to me. This is Prince's epic guitar solo compilation in seven minutes. Uh, <laughs> let's see what it sounded like. Oh, it's the same channel from the last one. Eating it up. <laughs> it's about his face, he is just into it. <laughs> it's a whole jam session happening on stage. That is so, so crazy and cool.
<laughs> and he was alive the whole time too. audience is just vibing with him. Imagine being like in his band, like just to be somebody that played with him. Like, that'd just be so cool. So that was cool. Shout out to the recommendation. Um, yeah, we miss when, our, well, no, we don't miss it because there, there are artists out there now that can play instruments as well as sing and do all the great things. And then there's some that just can't do anything. <laughs> some of them can't even sing or even put out good music, just being flat out honest. But shout out to um, Brents. I love, love, love what I've been watching with you all. Some of the listening I've been doing on my own. Um, as far as him playing guitar, like my granddad plays um, bass guitar, so I grew up hearing him play all the time. My entire family is somewhat musically inclined a little bit. Everybody has played an instrument. I personally walked away from my instrument after high school because I was just tired of band. I was a percussionist. Um, and then, but everybody kind of sings or does something with music. Me personally, I sing in the shower. <laughs> I sing in the car, I might sing, you know, off film or whatever because my voice is not the strongest. But I did um, develop a neck early for dancing and um, as I've grown into my adult years, I've picked up songwriting as just a, something I do for fun um, in therapy. But everybody else, they play instruments, they sing, and I ain't got nothing on my family for real. Like a lot of my people are like gifted. So shout out to that. I love instrumentation. I love good music. Um, it just reminded me of like being in the room with my uncles and granddad and grandma and cousins when they have their jam sessions as they call them. <laughs> Everybody picks up an instrument um, and plays. Grandma plays um, different types of piano, cello, violin. Have cousins that play guitar, trumpet, keyboards, all of that. And then um, naturally I play drums. So. Um, the gym sessions would be kind of live in my family's living room, and that's what it reminded me of. So I can only imagine what it was like going to a show. I've been seeing the comments y'all have left about being able to have seen him um, live when y'all were, you know, coming up or whenever. And like, I wish sometimes I lived in this era of music with him and Michael and Janet and Whitney. I'm still gonna make sure I try to see Janet <laughs> at some point and Tina, like, the other thing that just throws me off a lot is how I said in the video not too long ago, how people nowadays don't appreciate like 
the multi-dimensional aspect of people and artists and music like being fluid from a genre standpoint that's a lot of rock that you just got from prince but then he can do r&b he can do pop he can do dance janet was the same way michael was the same way <laughs> whitney was the same way tina is you know literally a queen in in like the eyes of rock and roll legend so you know to see that just be accepted as well as the androgyny and the style <laughs> and then nowadays it's so narrow-minded and linear it's just like it has to be one way or no way at all so it's crazy i probably dived a little too deep there my bad but this was dope i'm gonna keep watching there's a whole list of print stuff that somebody sent me <laughs> and i'll make sure i keep on um, watching those compilations as well so let me know what you thought about this one below comment like subscribe until next time peace